welcome back to Talk Pittsburgh. Before you even walk into someone's home, the first thing you might notice is right at your feet. Whether it's a beautiful design, a clever saying, or fitting for the season, a welcome mat can say it all. And the Westmoreland County woman behind the doormat company is helping people craft their own welcome. Take a look. My name is Caitlin. Thanks for coming. I'm the owner of the doormat company and we're going to be making doormats today. I have a bachelor's degree in elementary education and COVID kind of happened and shut down all the schools and everything. So I was like, I can't just stay home and do nothing. So I brought my Cricut machine home from my classroom and fired it up and taught myself how to do doormats. We're just going to keep peeling and your backing should stay blue. You don't want any of your white vinyl sticking to it. So I can go on to like the Cricut program and I make all the designs myself for my doormat. So I guess I kind of have a little bit of graphic design in me <laughs> that I didn't know about, but, um, and then my Cricut machine will cut it out. Whenever I first started my Etsy shop, I, I wasn't the doormat company. I was actually created Kate, because <laughs> my name's Kate, so it kind of rhymes. Um, but I made like glasses, t-shirts, like different things. So I, I was kind of experimenting with different things. And I don't, I don't know, do the doormats I just liked the most. They're just the most fun for me to make. Once you have it where you want it, again, you're just gonna like smooth it down and you're gonna place one push pin in each corner. Just kind of holds everything together. Maybe do like one there. I started an Etsy shop and started off on there and then um, grew my social media and eventually transitioned into a website. But you don't wanna go like left to right because that's gonna like move your sensor around. So dab up and down. I literally like have my paint and I like scoop out a blob and slap it on there like because you want it to be thick. I, I'm a very like I'm a very big decorator like in my home and I just I hated having the same doormat as like the next five people. The first doormat I made was um, like it was a D for like our last name and so it was personalized and you know you can't really find personalized mats. When I started out I was getting them blank mats from Target, Ikea, places where I could find them and then as I grew, I found a wholesaler. I pretty much just tell people to keep painting until you can't see the mat anymore. I'm at a lot of churches. Um, I'm at a lot of local wineries, so they'll have me and people will come and it's fun. The wineries are fun because you get a free glass of wine and you know, we make, it, it's like a fun crowd, so. Um, and then I have a lot here. So, like, why? Yeah. Okay. This space, it's the Trendy Bunny Boutique. Um, they're primarily a children's boutique, um, but they've kind of grown. They, ha they do events, they have baby showers, bridal showers, everything. Primarily, like when I started my business, it was me designing, um, throwing them up on my website. You know, I have them all in categories, so like seasons, occasions, and um, someone would order one and I would make it myself and ship it out. So we've shipped like all over the country and I just started, um, branching out into classes about like six months ago. So it's something different too. It gets me out of the house and I meet people like in the community. So it's, it's fun. That thickness will like go down. So like, don't worry about it. I always have a plan for things. So like when I planned out my life, it was very like, go to school, get a teaching job, you know? Um, so I guess when COVID happened, like I had to pivot and I just, I never ever thought I would have a doormat business, honestly. I was always worried about what people thought, but um, you know, at some point, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm doing what I love. I have like freedom to travel, and if I'm sick, I can take off a day. And so there's definitely perks to it. Um, but, and I'm just like happy, I think, every day. I'm like doing something that I love to do. So um, I miss teaching, um, but I think I kind of get that experience through my classes. Perfect. Everyone registers on my website, but I give people, you know, like 20, 30 choices to pick from. Um, so when they register, they'll put like what design they want. Um, so when they come to class, I have all the designs cut out already, because that's the long part. So they'll get their doormat, their design. I bring tons of paint colors, brushes, everything they need. And I just walk them kind of step by step, putting the stencil on the mat, painting, and then care instructions to take home. One more piece. It's just, it's, it's funny to me because there's so many people who like put their own individual like ideas into it and creativeness. So. Um, it's, it's fun to see like what people come up with. I usually always like the minimalistic all black, but now I'm starting to get into like my, my watermelon one, it's probably my favorite. <laughs> um, just I'm getting more into like the, my colorful mats. I think they're like very hesitant at first and a lot of people stress, stress out as they're doing it. I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. But um, you know, it's just something probably that not a lot of people have done before. 
I think just like there's a lot of like perfection perfectionists. You know, it's it's scary because you're you're like throwing paint on and they're you know they think it's bleeding under and it's going to be a mess. You know, and they peel it off and their faces just like light up and they're like, wow, like I can't believe. You. Oh, oh that's my god, so Danny, that's so cute. good. And it's nice because people, you know, tell me stories like, oh, I use my mat like in my proposal and because I have like engagement mats. And so it's just cool, like the stories people tell me. So, you know, customers from all over the country send me pictures of their homes with their, but something that I made with my hands, it's just like, kind of like, it's mind blowing <laughs> sometimes that like I made something and people like it enough to put it in their homes. Like it's just, it's, it's just rewarding. And Caitlin, we love our new doormat for our home here in the office. It is perfect and we love it so much. And if you would like to participate in a painting session, there are four happening in June and July. We're going to have more information on the doormat company and how you can sign up for a class on our website. Head to kdka.com slash talk Pittsburgh.